please try to understand. This is O, this is X, this is Y. Okay, one X, one X, X is all Y's are zero. Suppose a point three comma zero, another point five comma zero, ten comma zero. You see Y zero, Y zero, Y zero. That is ordinates are zero. So it is three comma zero. It is five comma zero. It is ten comma zero. Okay, is it? So equation of x axis. You write down equation formula number one. Equation of x axis is y equal to zero. Similarly, we can write down number two. Equation of y axis will be x equals to zero. That is zero comma two, zero comma four, zero comma six in this way. Okay, so we have come to know two formulas, two equations. Okay, that is x axis and y axis. It's done. I think you have copied it. Now. Suppose it is X, it is O, and it is Y. It is a point, suppose it is a point A comma zero. That means up to this, it is A. Now, if a straight line is drawn passing through this point A comma zero, you see, which is parallel to Y axis, okay? Now, what is the equation of this line is x equals to a, okay? And which is parallel to y axis. So we can write down, right, number three, equation of a straight line. ST means a straight line. Parallel, parallel to y axis is, write down, x equals to a. It is a x equals to a. In the same way, we can give you another example. That is this. Okay, suppose it is the point zero comma b, and this is b. Okay, so its equation is y equals to b, and you see it is parallel to x axis. So we can write down number four equation of a straight line parallel to x axis is y equals to b. These two will be vastly required. Okay, so please try to understand. If you have any confusion, you are allowed to talk to me. Are you getting me, all of you? Yes, sir. Okay, that's good. Yes, so we have got four. Sir. We have we have got four equations. One, two, three, and this is four. Okay. Very good. It is very initial, not a matter. I am not going to discuss it anymore. But what I am going to show you, show to you. Uh, will be a little bit hard. Let's try to understand. Pay attention. Suppose okay. That is it is O and it is X it is y, okay? A straight line, any straight line, suppose uh, a student can be drawn like this. You see, we have drawn a straight line. Is it okay? And you name it. You name it, suppose it is 
Q. Is it okay? You name it, it is A and a point. Suppose it is a point, it is a point, it is P, P X comma Y. Are you getting it? It is a point. Yes, sir. It is a point P X comma Y. This is another point. Okay, that's good. And suppose it is B. So AB is a straight line. Okay. Where it intersects the Y axis, you write down. It intersects the straight line AB, write down. The straight line AB intersect Y axis at Q. Very good. We draw a perpendicular. Suppose this is a perpendicular. It is a perpendicular. It is another perpendicular. You name it. It is P. It is M. It is Q. It is M. So we draw PM perpendicular, PM perpendicular, OX. Okay. We draw. QN perpendicular PM. I mean, it is also perpendicular. Have you seen it? And let Y intercept. You write down Y intercept is equal to C. That means, that means it is C. This part is C. Okay, and inclined and with X axis at theta. What is meant by this? It is. Theta. It means positive direction. This sign means positive direction and this sign means negative direction. Okay. Okay. All of you, please, you are required to pay attention. Now let me know. Let me know. What is OM? What is OM? OM equals to X, right? It is equal to X. For this, it is X. Okay? It is equal to X. For this, it is X. Who is this equal to? QN. OM and QN are equal, being a rectangle. Very good. OQ equals to what? OQ equals to C equals to mn that means we are getting it is c it is also c okay i mean i am going to mention this part this part is also c now can you please let me know what's our pn pn equals to what pn equals to you see pm by sorry minus mn now let me know what's about pm pm is y and what is mn mn is c so y minus c <laughs> so we are getting this part is y minus c <clears throat> you see this is theta this these are uh, parallel lines this line and this line are parallel lines. So if it is theta corresponding angle, this is also theta. Now in triangle PQN, 
you write down in triangle p q n you see tan theta equals to tan theta equals to what perpendicular by talk to me perpendicular by base perpendicular is pn base is qn now if tan theta is considered as by m implies that m tan theta it is considered as by m pn value of pn is y minus c it is y minus c and value of qn why is qn qn is equal to x so we are getting here x okay now if we calculate this part we get after calculating we get y equals to y equals to mx plus c it is equation one so this is the standard equation of a straight line here this equation is known as the standard equation of a straight line okay everybody now the fact is that if if c equals to zero then one becomes one implies that y equals to mx c equals to zero means what there is no y intercept that means it will be like this and it is y equals to mx which passes through the origin okay there is no y intercept that means this equation suppose it is known as a here the equation a this is known as a a passes through the what is in okay so what we have come to know this is the standard equation of a, a straight line if c equals to zero equation becomes y equals to mx which passes through the origin so we have got actually uh, six uh, equations now suppose suppose it has been extended suppose it is now b and another point has been taken here another point it may be as x1 y1 then what will be our equation can you please let me know if it is x1 y1 not xy then one becomes this is the same straight line okay this is the same straight line all the points on this will satisfy all the points on this straight line will satisfy this equation so if a point x1 comma y1 is considered here then we will see y1 is equal to m x1 plus c here you see m and c are constant okay this is c and this is m for theta what we have uh, got the uh, got a chance that is x1 and y1 okay and if we consider it as equation 2 then we get we get 1 minus 2 is equal to 1 minus 2 let me know it is y this is y minus y1 y minus y1 is equal to mx plus c minus mx1 minus c that means we are getting plus c minus c cancelled so we have got y minus y1 m can be taken common m into x minus x1 it is the equation of straight line write down it is the equation of straight line equation of it is equation suppose 3 equation of straight line okay having slope m and
passes through any point to any point any point x on y1 any point it may be x3 y3 it may be 2 comma 3 it may be 5 comma 4 any point okay this is the uh, most important equation of a straight line which passes through any point x on y1 having the slope m okay please give emphasis on this m and this point so actually we have got <coughs> And the equation. <laughs> Have you got me? Talk to me. Yes, sir. Okay, that's good. It sounds very good now. Okay. Okay. Suppose uh, regarding equation one, we are getting what? Y equals to, sorry, uh, Y equals to MX plus C. So this is Y1, it is MX1 plus C. Now, if another point is taken here, another point here or anywhere, if another point is taken, which is known as x2, y2, x2, y2, then we will get like this, y2 is equal to mx2 plus c, is it? Or we can write y10 is equal to, if another point is taken, m x10 plus c, okay, this type of. So we have actually taken another point. Now, if we subtract these two, if we subtract these two minus, 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 then we'll get y1 minus y2. This will be omitted. M can be taken common. X1 minus X2. So from here, we can write down M equals to y1 minus y2 by x1 minus x2. This is the formula to find out the slope if two points are given. Or we can write down it like this, y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. Okay, this is the formula how we can find the slope. Is it okay? That means we have got here, m is equal to y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 Okay, so actually we have got another formula to determine the slope if two points are given. Suppose two points x1, y1 and x2, y2 are given, then the slope will be this. Now you see what was our formula, y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1, okay? Now you see, y minus y1, what is the value of m? Put the value of m, y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Okay, I have put the value of m here. Okay, that means we can write it y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1. Okay, 
So uh, nothing but just to make a relation, we can take minus common in the denominator. So it will be y1 minus y2. It is what x minus x1, x1 minus x2. This is the most important equation of a straight line where a straight line passes through two given points. What are the points x1, y1 and x2, y2? Okay, I think you have uh, copied it. So this is the equation, write down, equation of a straight line of a straight line which passes through to given points x1, y1, and x2, y2. Okay. If two points are given like this, then its equation will be this. We can also write down, we can also write down, this can be written like this, you see, x minus x1, x1 minus x2, y minus y1, y1 minus y2. This also can be written and you write it from now onward. Okay. Same thing, just here y is at trust, here, here x is at trust. Okay. Now, you see, dear students, suppose this is O, this is X, this is Y, this is A, and this is B. Here A is A comma zero. Here B is zero comma B. Okay. Very good, not a matter. We take any point here, any point. I am going to take any point here as Y. P, X, Y. P, X, Y. P, X, Y has been taken any point on A, B. Write down, write down step one. P, X, Y, B, any point on a b now let's draw perpendiculars suppose it is it is this type okay it is pm it is pn that means we can write down here pm perpendicular ox and pn perpendicular O Y. Okay. Now let's join O and P. O comma P are joined. O comma P are joined. Now you see we are getting too many triangles, but if I write, you see area of triangle AOB is equal to area of triangle AOP plus area of triangle BOP. I think you have got it. You see? this area okay actually we have differentiated have you seen area of triangle aob this is a this is o and this is b area of triangle aob is equal to area of two triangles and 
the two triangles AOP and BOP, AOP and BOP. By the way, actually, you know, what is OA? OA equals to what? Definitely A. And what is OB? OB equals to what? It is B, right? Yes, Very sir. good. So we can write down the area of triangle AOB is equal to half into base into height. A is the base, B is the height. I am telling for triangle AOB. Have you seen triangle AOB area? AOB, half into base into height. Okay. Now, just talk to me. Area of triangle AOP. 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 So, it is the height for triangle AOP. It is the height. I am telling for this triangle AOP. So, it is the height. So, let me know what is the length of PM. PM equals to what here? Y. It is PXY. It is PXY. So its height is what? Y, right? Yes, sir. So what is the area of the triangle AOP? Let me know. Half into base. Base is A. Height is Y. Now, area of triangle BOP. Half into BOP. What's about BOP? You see, what's about BOP? This is BOP. This is BOP, okay? I'm going to mark it like this. This is BOP. Okay, this is BOP. So it is base, it is base, and it is the perpendicular. It is the perpendicular for the triangle BOP. So half into base, here base is B. Perpendicular is PN. PN means what? PN means this is OM. That is, if it is X, so it is also X. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Now, from both the sides, we can omit half. If we omit half, then we are left with AB is equal to AY plus BX. Okay. Now, we will divide both the, all the terms by AB. If I divide by AB, then it is 1. AB, that means AY by AB plus BX by AB. What we have done? I, we have divided all the terms by AB. Now you see, if we can cancel it, BB will be omitted. X by A plus, it is what? Y by B. And it is what? One. I think this is the time for you for prayer, right? Hello, everybody. Yes, sir. So uh, we can take five minutes break, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh. Welcome. Plus the fact x by a, then let me know y by b is equal to 1. Is it? Actually, it was a0, that means it is a. It was b0, 0b, zero that means it is b. So if I write down the formula like this, you see, if I write down x by a means what? x intercept. x intercept plus y by y intercept is equal to 1. I think we can write this, right? Okay. So, it is a means what? a means this. That means cut by x-axis. The part or the intercept cut by the x-axis. It is b. b means what? The intercept cut by y-axis. Okay? Anyway, it will be needed. We are going to find the equation of a straight line. The length of the perpendicular is given. You see, like the previous one, this is, okay? Yes, you can see this is O and this is A and this is B, okay? But the interesting fact is that here we have drawn a perpendicular. For the last time, it was not the perpendicular. It is a perpendicular, it is P. 
okay uh, or we can know we will not name it p this is suppose n and this is the length of the perpendicular p i mean the length of the perpendicular on is p and this on so called p makes an angle with x axis as by alpha as by alpha then what will be the equation <laughs> okay let me know who can tell me can you please tell me we have to find the find the equation of ab you see dear students here very interesting math it is if it is sin alpha if we let okay very good cos alpha suppose cos alpha equals to what talk to me base by if it is perpendicular then it is the hypotenuse That's right nice. yes sir is it so yes, it is the it is the hypotenuse if alpha is considered okay then it is what perpendicular then it is base is it so cos alpha equals to what it is it is opposites opposite of the angle is will be regarded as perpendicular so it is base so base is what on on is the base and perpendicular is uh, sorry hypotenuse is oa talk to me all of you yes sir okay so from here we can write down first about on cos alpha is equal to on equals to p p by oa that means we can write here oa is equal to p by cos alpha that means p sec alpha <laughs> very important thing now if it is alpha or alpha then what is the measure of this angle it is 90 degree minus alpha is it yes because sir. in total it is 90 degree so well we can write down cosine 90 degree minus alpha is equal to i am taking this triangle in the same way what is the base what is the base base is on if this angle is considered then it is the perpendicular and this is 90 degree that means it is the hypotenuse okay so definitely base will be on opposite angle opposite side of the considered angle is will be perpendicular this is perpendicular okay this is perpendicular so definitely on will be the base so on by hypotenuse hypotenuse is what ob now let me know it is what sin alpha okay as it is 90 degree is equal to on is p it is ob that means ob is equal to p by sin alpha so we can write down important part ob is equal to p cos alpha <coughs> it is p sec alpha it is p cos alpha <coughs> just in the last proof what we did equation of a straight line in case of intercept it was written write down x by x intercept plus y by it is equation of ab y by y intercept is equal to 1 okay it is the equation of ab now what is x intercept let me know what is x intercept this is the x intercept that is oa so we can write down x by oa what is y intercept y intercept is ob it is y by ob equals to 1 now you see the value of oa is p sec alpha p sec alpha value of Way. so we can write down x by p sec alpha y by p cos alpha 
is equal to one. Okay, now we can write down is equal to P. I have multiplied all the terms by P. That means we are getting here, dear students. Hello, everybody. Yes, sir. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Sorry. Now you see, it is one by sec alpha means cos alpha. So this is x cos alpha plus it is y sin alpha is equal to p. This is the required equation. Here p means what? The length of the perpendicular from origin to the straight line. Alpha is that perpendicular will make an angle with the x-axis, this is alpha. <clears throat> but for your kind information, this is the equation of AB. It is not the equation of ON. It is the equation of a equation of AB. <clears throat> <clears throat> Nothing is left. Okay, is it okay? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Now going to go exercise three point five. Question number one one. Two points are given minus one, suppose minus one three. And four minus two. We have to find the equation of the straight line passing through these two points. Okay, so we can write down the equation of a straight line or of the straight line because it will be the fixed of the straight line passing through minus one comma three and four comma minus two. What was the formula? At first, let me know what was the formula? X minus X one by X one minus X two, Y minus Y one by Y one minus Y two. This is the formula, right? So very good. You write down, this is X. This is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. Okay, so x minus x1, that is minus minus plus 1. Then x1, x1 minus x2 minus 4 is equal to y minus y1. y minus, this is 3, y1. Then it is y1, again y1. Okay. Have you got me? Yes, sir. Okay. So we are getting here x plus 1 by minus 5, y minus 3 by 5. That is x plus 1 by minus 1, y minus 3 by 1. So x plus 1 is equal to minus y plus 3. That means x plus y equals to 2. So this is the equation. I think you have got it. Now, what will you do? Actually, it becomes a little bit hard for you. What are the points I am going to write down? This math is done. But you see, this is minus 1. This is 3, then it is what 4. You will write like this. Okay, now you see what I am going to write down here. Can you see the board? Yes, 
it is x and this is y okay you see this minus this by this minus this i repeat this minus this sorry x minus minus plus one this minus this minus one minus four have you seen wait y y minus three this is y minus three three minus minus this okay so three plus two okay if you write like this in the wrap then it will be very easier for you for the initial but in course of time you all will come to know okay Sir. Now we have done. Suppose you see, actually this is the formula x minus x one by x one minus x two, y minus y one by. This is the formula. If if one of the points is the origin O zero zero. Suppose x two y two is considered here as by zero zero. Suppose. Then what we will get? X minus x one by x one minus zero. Y minus y one by y one minus zero. Is it or not? Yes, sir. Okay, that's good. Then we get x minus x one by x one is equal to y minus y one by Y one go for multiplying x y one x y one minus x one y one is equal to x one y minus x one y one is it that is we are getting this this cancelled that means we get. X Y one is equal to X one Y. So we like to write down Y at first. That means X one Y, X Y one. That means Y is equal to. This is Y one. This is X one. This is X. This is the equation of a straight line passing through two points. Where one of the points is the origin. I think you have got me. This is the equation. This is the equation of a straight line passing through two points. Condition provided, one of the points will be the origin. Have you got me? Yes. One of the points will be the origin. What is the formula? We are going to write down y equals to y one by x one into x. Okay, now question number two. But the interesting fact is that you can do the math using the previous formula. Every math, either it is origin, whether it is origin or not. Okay, origin. That is origin means what? Zero zero. And and minus four, four. We have to find the equation. So what is the formula? Y equals to what? Talk to me. Y one. This is x one. This is y one. So y one by x one. Four by minus four x. We are done. Y equals to minus x. That is x plus y equals to zero. We are done. Have you seen? By knowing this formula, we have got the maths in one, two, three lines. Is it okay? But the interesting fact is that we could also do this math using that formula. Okay, x minus x one by x one minus x two equal to y minus y one by okay y one minus y two. Are you getting it, all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now another math is also given. This is what the what is in and. Three comma four. What is the formula? Y is equal to y one by x one into x. So we put what is y one? This is y one. What is x one? This is x one. Okay. That means four x equal to three y, or we can write down four x minus three y is equal to 
zero. Is it okay? Hello, everybody. Yes, sir. Okay. We have another math question number four. Where the points are given five seven, five seven, and zero minus four. Points are given like this. You will write it like this. A. This is B. Suppose. When you will do this math in the exam hall, what will you do with the pencil? With the pencil, you write down this is x and this is y. Okay, like this. So equation, what will be the equation? Tell me, x minus 5, y 5 minus 0. Is it? y minus 7, y 7 minus this plus 4. Have you got me? Yes, sir. So if you can remember this get up, then perhaps it will be 100% easier for any student to do any math very quickly. Okay. So write down x minus 5 by 5, y minus 7 by 11. Now just calculation 11x minus 55 is equal to 5y minus 35. That means 11x minus 5y is equal to 20. This is the answer. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Now, very interesting math is given now. Question number two, one, very interesting. Three points are given, okay? A0, you see, A0, then 0V, then C0. Three points are given. Actually, these three points vertices of a triangle. That's good, very good. It sounds very good. Not a matter, this is all, okay? A0, so we can write here, it is A0. It is A, 0. 0, B. This is B, which is 0, B. This is C, 0. You see, sir, you write down here. Yes? Sir, question did to our repeat, Corbin. You are wrong. Anyway, uh, because it is not our repeat, it is repeat. Anyway, so we see. Actually, the vertices of a triangle are given. Vertices means the plural of vertex is called the vertices. Vertices, okay? So what is happening here? You see, one vertex, first vertex, second vertex, third vertex. So the vertices of a triangle are given. Okay, what are the vertices? A0. This is A0, this is A0, this is 0B, this is 0B, and this is C0, this is C0. Yes, it is possible to draw a triangle. Is it possible? So actually, we have got, you see, we have got the three sides of, a, of the triangle. Am I right? Talk to me. Yes, sir. You have to find the equation of the straight line, suppose this side, okay, has been expanded here or produced here. Is it? This has been produced here. And this, this, this has been produced here. What is told in the question? That you have to find the equation of the straight lines, which are produced sides of the triangle. This is the triangle. This is the triangle. It has three sides, you see. It has three sides. Okay, and three sides have been produced. You can also produce like this. You can also produce like this. You can also produce like this in this way. Are you getting me? So, Thank dear you. students, dear students, equation of this straight line and equation of this straight line are same, right? Is it equation of this straight line and equation of this straight line are same? 
that is if it is a b and if it is c then the same equation equation of a b is equal to equation of bc is equal to equation of ac all the same right so equation of equation of ab means the equation of whole the straight line okay very good now let me know suppose i am uh, getting for ab produced ab ab or ab produced ab produced not a matter same thing same answer ab or ab produced ab this is a and this is b okay that's good x y x y o a plus y y o b is equal to 1 now what's about way talk to me what is the length of way a what is the length of ob is b we have got our answer one of the answers have been found has been found talk to me yes sir now in the same way if i go for finding the equation of bc or bc produced or bc produced let me know x by x intercept x intercept is what oc plus y by y intercept y intercept is what ob is equal to one <clears throat> right now let me know what what is oc oc is c that is x by c y by b Equals to one. We are done. Okay. <clears throat> now one of the sides is still left. <clears throat> that is equation of OC, AC. Equation of AC indicates equation of OC indicates. Equation of x axis. Am I right? Talk to me. Is equal to x axis. What is the equation of x axis? Plus two. Talk to me. Y equal to zero. Zero. Have you got me? We have to find equation. That means equation of OC. That means equation of x axis. Okay. That is what y equals to zero. Very interesting math, right? <clears throat> Next math question number two. <clears throat> you have to find the equation of three medians of a triangle formed by the points minus three minus one minus three minus one then 11 13 and minus one minus three okay what is happening here do you see this is a triangle suppose it is a it is b and it is c a is what you let minus three minus one B is given, suppose 11, 13, and C is given minus 1, minus 3. Okay. Now, we have to find out three medians. Three medians, very good. It is a median. That means D is the midpoint of BC. It is a median. That means E is the midpoint of AC. It is another median. That means F is the midpoint of AB. Am I right? <clears throat> so can you please find out D? D equals to what? Talk to me. D is the midpoint of BC, right? So what is the formula to determine the midpoint? X1 plus X2, 11 minus 1 by 2 
then it is 13 minus 3 by 2 is it equals to what 11 minus 1 that is 5 okay sorry 10 by 2 equals to 5 it is also 5 okay we have to find you see we have to find equation of ad it is the median equation of ad we have to find so what is a you write down a is what you write down it is a minus 3 minus 1 is a what is d you write down this is d you write down here x it is y okay so we can write down here it is x plus 3 minus 3 minus 5 this is y plus 1 minus 1 minus 5 okay that means we are getting here x plus 3 by minus 8 is equal to y plus 1 by minus 6 <clears throat> And we can write down also x plus 3 by 8. We can divide it by 4, 2, 4. That is minus 2. y plus 1 by it is. We are going to multiply both the sides by minus 2. It is 3. Now we can calculate 3x plus 9, 4y plus 4. That is 3x minus 4y plus 5 is equal to 0. Yes, 3x, 3x, yes, we have got. Hello, everybody. Yes, sir. In the same way, what will you do? I am not going to do all other parts. You will find E then find equation of b you are done you will again find f as the midpoint and find the equation of the straight line cf okay you will practice it at home now going to another question Question number three of two. What is given here? The three vertices of a right angle triangle are very good. Not a matter. Write down. Okay. Minus four four zero minus four. Suppose it is minus four four zero minus four, and it is. We really don't know that this point is the point of right angle. Okay, we really don't know. Is it? But you have to find it. Very good. Find the equation of the straight line joining the midpoint of the hypotenuse. What is the procedure to find out the hypotenuse? Very good. You write down this is a which one is the hypotenuse? We cannot tell it. So what will you do? You write down, what is AB? Talk to me, what is AB? AB equals to what? Minus four, minus four, minus zero, whole square plus four plus four, four plus four, whole square. It is what? 16 plus 256, right? Is it? I'm sorry, not 256. 4, 4, 8, 64. Okay? Then it is root over 80. You keep it like this. What's about AC? AC equals to what? Minus 4, minus 2. plus 4 minus 7 equals to what? 
it is 36 and it is 39 we are getting root over 45 unit <coughs> then what's the what bc this is what 2 minus 0 plus 7 plus 4 whole square so it is what 121 it is 4 the root over 125 now you see actually this is the hypotenuse here but here the this is the hypotenuse is not written suppose the triangle you took at first may be revised now suppose it is AC is the hypotenuse then you will change the figure okay you have got me yes so what is the hypotenuse this is the high we have found this three lengths just to determine which one is the hypotenuse so very good a b equals to what uh, a b equals to root over 80 root over 80 then a c equals to what root over 45 then it is root over 125 so differently uh, b c is the hypotenuse but we are not done yet what's next okay actually oh, uh, it was written here hello it sir? was b it was a right and it was c is it yes sir yes sir. okay now find the equation of the straight line joining the midpoint of the hypotenuse oh my god midpoint of the hypotenuse this is the midpoint hypotenuse you can write down this is the hypotenuse bc is the hypotenuse okay okay midpoint of the with the opposite vertex okay opposite vertex means what this we have to find the equation of this okay name it p midpoint p is the midpoint of bc write down p is the midpoint of the hypotenuse bc okay now what's about p p equals to what it was a a is minus 4 4 minus 4 4 and b is 0 minus 4 and it is 2 comma 7 is it so p goes to what uh, 0 plus 2 by 2 minus 4 plus 7 by 2 that means 1 comma 3 by 2 but here in this question we have to we have to determine it is a sorry it is a equation of ap equation of ap so what is a a is minus 4 4 p 1 3 2 it is x it is y this is the get up so you write down x plus 4 by minus 4 minus 1 y minus 4 by 4 minus 3 by 2 now you calculate it x plus 4 by minus 5 y minus 4 4 to the 8 minus 3 5 by 2 <coughs> That means x plus 4 by minus 5, 2 into y minus 4 by 5, x plus 4 by minus 1, 
2y y minus 8 by plus 1. x plus 4 minus 2y plus 8 